All right. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Somehow, another, we would be 
a nation indivisible. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Help us, Lord, to be that nation. And then, Lord, we pray for the church. Help us as the church, Lord, to be the church. Help us to not want to be like the world. Not want to embrace the world, but embrace you. And in the midst of a decaying society, help us, Lord, to hold forth the truth of your word, the truth of your love. Help us, Father, to let your light so shine in us. Me and might see you in us and glorify the Father. And Lord, as we close this time of prayer now, we want to ask you to help us, as we've already heard folks say, to claim the victory that is ours. Help us not to walk by sight, Lord, but help us to walk by faith. And if you say that you are greater in us, that he that is in the world, we claim that promise today, Lord. If you say that no weapon formed against us will prosper, we claim that promise today, Lord. If you say that we are more than conquerors, we claim that promise today, Lord. We pray today, Lord, that our worship, that our songs that we sing, our prayers that we pray, our attitude and actions might honor you in all that we say and do. Pray this, Lord, for every church, for every believer in this last and dark day. All these things we claim in the name of Jesus and for his sake. Let us all say together, amen. 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 God bless you.
little bit, but I just got to say this. Is that the atmosphere to some degree dictates how, how much Jesus is going to work. Amen. If the atmosphere is rich and real and warm, then I've I heard people say, y'all, I've heard this said from strangers, that they walked into the sanctuary and they felt the presence of God. Amen. 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 I said all that to say that when the choir is singing and we and we hear the sentiment of what they're sharing, it really ought to be ours. Lord, if you, if you continue to bless me, my heart is going to say yes. Today, my prayer is, is y'all, that in the back of our minds, we already got our yes ready. Amen. Amen. Whatever you tell me to do, Lord, my answer is yes. Well, however you lead me, my answer is yes. Here's the reason why Pastor says do that, y'all. Because yeah. I really believe God is still calling me. Yeah. And what we've become is we've become used to simply being spectators. Believe it or not, y'all, first time I heard this, matter of fact, I think it's the first time it ever happened. The Buffalo Bills had a practice session this week. I think they call it the red against the blue. Am I getting that right, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. And I think the red against the blue was really one part of the same team yeah. playing the other part of the same team. Amen. Yeah. And y'all, the they, they sold out. All of the tickets that they could have sold were sold. And here's what one of the players said. Man, I ain't never played before this many people, especially in the scrimmage. You know what that did? That made them more excited. They made them more delighted. I mean, you, you can rest assured the Buffalo Bills is going to act crazy this year. Amen? You know why? Because they're generating a degree of enthusiasm. Y'all, if the world can do that, how about the church? Amen. When you think about how good God has been to us, when you think about what he's brought us through, yes. Yes. I mean, those old folks, if y'all would have saw Sister Margaret running, and then she's here today, y'all. She's here. I mean, I just thought she ain't gonna make it tomorrow, Lord. She was limping and dragging, and, and I didn't hear her moaning and groaning, but here she is, and she looks like she's all right. <laughs> God has been good to us. Amen. Amen. And y'all, here's what the Bible says. The Bible says, clap unto the Lord. Amen. And shout unto the Lord. Amen. I 
time. I want I said all that to say, y'all, church is really a rich place to be. Yes, it yeah. is. And I know, I know y'all, I'm looking just like y'all are looking. We're seeing right before our eyes the great falling away yeah. that the Bible says would happen. Yeah. People that used to go to church, y'all, for no other apparent reason to still go to church. After the after the the two years of the pandemic and after all of the other things, and now we've got some other issues developing, folk just don't go to church. We need to say to them, it's one of the richest places in our community. Yes, it is. Help. Amen. 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 And I pray that we'll all these be here, y'all, is help, hope, and healing. Yes. Okay, what's wrong? Okay, how you're hurting? Help is here. Hope is here. Healing is here. And wherever those things are, y'all, there ought to be a hallelujah. There ought to be a holiness. There ought to be a thank you, Jesus. Amen. So let, let's, us, let's us make sure that we keep rich and relevant our praises. Because if we do that in our praises, God says he inhabits. I mean, there were times, y'all, that Jesus was walking by the boat where his men were in. And they were scared and, and, and fearful. But somebody said, that looked like Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hello, Jesus. Here's what Jesus did, y'all. He stopped and went into the boat. Do you know Jesus gets in the boat? The storm ain't got no more power. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. He, he can say peace to the waters, yes, or he can say peace to your heart. Yes, and either way, guess what? You'll be fine. Yes, I pray, y'all, that we continue to let the presence of the Lord, yes, the peace of God, so fill this room in our presence till our hearts are not going to be the same. Yes. Amen. Yes. No matter what you came in here with, Maybe weary, or maybe fretting, maybe fear, maybe sorrow. Honestly, y'all, maybe depression. Yeah. Honestly, maybe some sense of uncertainty. But today you were reminded that God says, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. There's some things you can know. Yeah. And if you know them, then you ought to live them out. Amen. Yeah. The Bible says, what we know, we don't know it to just have it, we know it to show it. And when you show it, the world around you is being the better. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right, it's uh, our offering time. We're going to ask our officers to make ready and we might receive our offering. And I want to say thank you to all of those of you who are faithful. And you know what I continue to hear? I'm saying this out of honesty, y'all. That the Lord is blessing some folks. Thank you, man. The choir didn't just, I mean, the praise team didn't just sing that song arbitrarily. The Lord is continuing to bless some people. Yeah, I know some folk, y'all, that are in this pandemic, coming on the outside of this pandemic, and they're getting raises. Yeah, Lord. Amen. Ain't nobody saying amen, but I know it's the truth, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're about to make more money now. Yeah. My, 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 my friend, the bus driver, said, Pastor, they're going to pay me almost as much as they pay nurses. He said, I'll be making $27.50 an hour, and with my other money, I guess he gets a little bit benefits when he does other things. He says, I'll be making almost $30 an hour. All right, now. I said, wow. Look in the midst of, y'all, right in the heels of the pandemic, God is still blessing. Amen. So I want you to know today that the Bible says it is more blessed to give. So if God blesses you, make sure you honor him in the giving. Amen. Amen. Let's stand now. I'm going to ask if you would follow the leading of the ushers. Brother Mark is over here for those of you who want to use your cards. And y'all, by the way, we only use this as a matter of convenience. We're not trying to hook a crook a gimmick. Some people don't use a lot of cash anymore. So when you come with your card, you can still pay your tithes or honor the Lord with your offering with the card. Amen? Amen. That's all that that's for. All right. Let's, let's have some good giving music and then we'll trust that the Lord will bless the furtherance of our service.
another blessed day you're yes. 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 worship you and praise you yes. and offering thanksgiving yes. Yes. ask your blessing to find us that it may do the work of ministry yes. for your glory and honor in Jesus name
without the shedding of blood. Why did you make mention of that, Pastor? There are whole ministries on TV. Matter of fact, the largest church in America does not mention the blood. Don't mention the cross. Don't mention suffering. But the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Meaning because something dies, somebody dies, it becomes the payment for sins. And so let's not take lightly, y'all, the shedding of the blood. Amen. Amen. We learned in Sunday school today that you can, you can actually encourage the presence of Jesus when you claim the blood. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, y'all, that, that Jesus has already done his part. And when we share our testimony, we become overcomers. Last night I walked into my what I consider my grandson's room. And sometimes when you're walking around in the dark, you just kind of hope you're feeling your way through. I didn't want to wake up my wife, so I was being quiet. And my grandson has a toy that if you get around it, it starts singing it. Good, 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 good. Scared me real good, y'all. I start claiming the blood in the room, man. Lord, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. And then I remember there was this stupid toy. I'm throwing that thing away, man. Brother Mark said, uh, that bird I had, y'all, I have a chicken. And when you squeeze it, it gives a whole bunch of noise. I gave that to my grandson. Brother Mark said, Pastor Pops. I threw that thing away. <laughs> I, I want you to know some things, y'all, we ain't throwing away. Amen. Uh, my prayer, y'all, is that we'll take this stuff seriously. Let the Lord have his way. We're going to hear one more song from the choir, and then we trust that there that God has a word for us. Amen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to do this. Can y'all just thank the Lord with me for our church?